Hi there. This is the second in our new series on the techniques of combatives and our previous uh, video which we talked about the um, short axe hand strike um, was uh, very popular. So we're doing a, a little uh, compilation on a technique which is central to combatives. It's one of the core strikes and it's the tiger's claw. Now this technique is well known in traditional martial arts, particularly karate. Um, it, it, it's known as the palm heel strike or shote in Japanese uh, language. Um, so it's got a long history. We like it in uh, self-protection because it's an open hand strike as opposed to a closed fist strike. The problem that I see with closed fist strikes is you've got the target is a bony spherical target and the weapon is a bony spherical uh, tool and getting them to impact uh, you, you get a certain amount of skidding off and it's not very efficient and also uh, very very prone to damage the hard skull can damage your hands now if I asked you to punch a brick wall you'd be reluctant but using the locked palm heel you can strike with quite a bit of force and that's the key to the technique is to lock the wrist once the wrist is locked back it's very very strong and it's important to lock the wrist right at the beginning of the strike, not halfway through or at the end in a kind of snapping action. Lock the wrist all the way through. This gives us stability to the technique. The technique, I, I once saw it described as a hand piston, and that's very, very eloquent. The technique is a direct straight thrust to the target. Don't have any curve on the strike at all. And training on uh, focus mitts and tie pads will give you this. It, it, it will it will line out any tendency to skid off. Um, to ensure that the wrist uh, is, is strong enough, um, exercises such as push-ups are ideal. And uh, one thing that we favor is push-ups on things like softballs or cricket balls. Uh, put a picture of that uh, to go along with this. Um, that's a, it's a really great exercise. The technique, it's very, very important to deliver it with shock impact uh, using um, maximum body dynamics. And this is something we'll address in a, a subsequent video as a standalone subject, how to develop shock impact. So here we go with the Tiger's Claw. Okay, Tiger's Claw. The, uh, the weapon, using the locked wrist, mainly concentrate on the meat of the hand here and try to have the power in a direct line along the arm. And it's a piston, it's a straight strike. So let's put your power in a straight line. The target for the Tiger's Claw is basically the head. You can strike other areas with it, but it's not optimal. It's better to use axe hand or an elbow strike or a hammer fist for the, the torso or the arms, the limbs, if you try to uh, strike them. Uh, for the head target, we're using the tiger claw basically to shake the brain, cause unconsciousness. Anything else, if you damage, break the jaw, lose his teeth, breaks his nose, that's secondary. That's not the aim of it, that's something that might happen. They're not fight stopping. Um, injuries. You're trying to shake the brain and drop the guy. Okay, so that tells us the type of strike that you need to do. It's got to be fast, it's got to be uh, abrupt, and you need to deliver acceleration into the target, and you need to put your body mass through
through the target to maximize the shock impact value. Okay? It's a fairly short range technique, so if you're doing it from say like a fence type technique, it's only it only travels this far. Okay? Obviously you can, you can do a longer strike in training, but we, we mainly think of it as a, a close range. So you strike in clear. Again, this represents the head. So it would be into the top. One of the points about using open hand strikes is that you don't need precise hand-eye coordination for it. You can strike using your peripheral vision. This is one of the things that Fairbairn emphasized uh, in teaching the open hands. Uh, things like axe hands, you don't have to look at the target, you, you can strike over a wide arc. And we have a drill for doing this type of uh, activity with the Tiger's Club, and we'll go on to that now. So Sai is facing two targets and he's going to be looking at the middle of Steve's chest as he strikes and he'll sometimes strike to the left and to the right. So he'll do one strike, two strikes, three strikes. When you're ready, Sai. He's always looking at the centre chest. Okay, so following on from that video which I, I made a couple of years ago, um, here's a, a short clip of the Tiger Claw in action in a suit drill at the first ever international we held featuring our late friend Mika. Hey, 